All right, guys, welcome back to Dynasty Warrior 7, part, part 4, a battle of Chiapi. Let's do this. You're going to pay for stealing our brother's land. Everybody, no one touches Lou Blue, Blue except, except for me. me. All right. I never expected to see such a game of reclaiming shoe. I, I must convey my gratitude to him. Lord Liu Bei, it's, it's me. me. Remember, remember, remember me, me, right? I got a letter yeah, back from, from my friend. friend. Turns it's out her family was all okay. okay. And so I wrote back to her, and I, I asked her, her to marry me after this battle. Hey, I could be dead yeah, tomorrow. I, I have to live while I can. Oh. Hey, what? I'll never forget okay, what South Sao did in Chu province. Now we have to fight with him. Zhang Liao is supposed it's to be strong, strong too. Oh, not, not as strong as you, my lord. <laughs> I don't trust That's him. I don't, I don't forget, forget easily. Believe, don't believe me. me. Lord Cao Cao thinks you could be a great warrior, my lord. Have, Have you, you considered, considered change your allegiances? allegiances? No. Uh, fuck no. <laughs> they say Lu Bu has, has a beautiful, beautiful woman at his side. side. They always, they always go, go for the, the strong ones, ones, don't they? Wait, this one's 28? Hold up. I want the strongest one. Yeah. 32? No. Go for 33. There we go. Um, yeah, that'll be okay. Check his skills move. Everything is good. For my lord, of course, Liu Bei and Sao Sao to join forces. This Liu Bu must be a truly frightening man. He is. So you're the man, man they call the god of war. Hmm. <laughs> well, you look pretty, pretty tough, tough, I guess. guess. It's Lu Bu! By that time I left, I'm probably, probably already dead. dead. Oh no. What are you doing again? It's, it's Lu Bu! By the time I yell that, I'm probably already, already be dead. dead. Man, you don't need to be dead. You're gonna be with me. I am Lord Guan Yu, and I shall protect you from Lord Lu Bu. Yeah? Yeah. Lubu is a mighty, mighty warrior. warrior. Train, Train hard, men. Your, your life may might depend, depend on it. it. My plan is, as soon as, as I see Lubu, Lubu I turn and, and run, run away from my life. life. <laughs> oh my god. It's all about it's balance, balance, you know. know? Fight a little, ride away a little. I am a warrior. warrior. I am I'm not, not afraid to run away, run away like, like a little girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I like your confidence. I hear that Zhang Liao is the most capable warrior. Why would such a man be serving under this I don't know. You see that man over there? That's Lord Sao Sao's strategist. He's still young, but he's cunning. cunning like a fox. Ooh. If he was going to go to Cao Cao so for help in the end, then why did he even fight him in the first place? Um, ah, you dumbass lieutenant, because uh, Lord Liu Bei does not like Lord Cao Cao. You should know that. Keep that in your mind. We've received a report from, from our scouts. It appears that an unknown, unknown army is headed this, this way. Oh, my life there are enemy reinforcements. reinforcements. But we, we must hurry and bring an end to this battle. battle. First, I have to talk with everybody if they're okay. Lord Liu Bei can't, can't really trust South Cao, can he? Lord Liu Bei is too gullible. Lu Bu used him and, and threw him aside. aside. That's not good. Sao Sao doesn't do anything for nothing. He'll be an angle. angle. I, I guarantee, guarantee it. I don't trust him. Okay, I talked with everybody. Let's do it. Wait, did I talk to Lord Rubei? 
Oh, yep. Let's do this. Yeah, so it's surrounded by water. If we flood it, it will quickly blow off the corner. We so simply need to finish off Blue Brew once he's exhausted his troops. Blue Brew is one of the mightiest warriors from this planet I've ever seen. seen. If our plan is successful, we must let down our guard. guard. Indeed, most, most perceptive of you. However, we have no time to waste. We, we must begin the attack. attack. We will begin our assault on Bitch! the castle. On you, but this will be your chance to prove your worth. Blue Boo is not the people who will be happy. Blue Boo! Are you paying for your treachery? You just died, bitch. <laughs> Rapidly from the south. Oh no. Uh, there we go. Why would you sigh with new moves?
Bitch! I claim another victory in the name of my brother. He was a true warrior, and as such, he was drawn to the might of Lou Boo. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Come on. Here we go. I got you. There you go, Lord South Dog. You are safe. This is the perfect opportunity to strike. New boost time is up. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. Strong, you're the one who did this. Come on, Lubu, I thought you were strong. Oh god. Wow, really?
understand, Zhang Liao. You will be an integral part of my plans. After defeating Lu Bu and Xia Pi, Liu Bei and his brothers were greeted warmly by Cao Cao. However, Liu Bei was unable to clear the uneasiness from his heart. He chastised himself for being too kind to Salt, Salt and, and for not possessing the cold cruelty of, of Cao Cao. It was then that a secret order arrived from the Emperor. Cao Cao must, must be slain! slain. It was a cry for help from the Emperor himself, who had grown weary, weary of Cao Cao's, Cao Cao's tyranny. Liu Bei thought to himself, if he were to slay Cao Cao, to whom he was so indebted, then he would be no better than Lu Bu. As Liu Bei struggled with his indecision, the order was given to eliminate Yuan Shu, who had attempted to usurp the Imperial throne. Having bided his time in turning on Cao Cao, Liu Bei saw this as a perfect opportunity. Together with his troops, he led a rebellion in Shu. However, the chaos would once again prove cruel to Liu Bei. Liu Bei. Cao Cao's massive army dealt his forces a resounding defeat. And during the course of the battle, he lost track of Guan Yu as well. The chaos continued to torment him. A man of unparalleled kindness and purity. And so he sought the help of Yuan Shao, the one man who could oppose Cao Cao. He soon found himself on the fields of Guandu, where Cao Cao, Cao Cao and Yuan Shao were already, already engaged in battle. battle. As he prepared for this great conflict, he quietly, quietly cursed his, his lack, lack of strength. strength. All right, guys. Thank you. Uh, sorry. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Peace.